Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right at the end of the last episode, well, about five minutes ago, we um, I'd gone through about a third of the uh, the box of 1148 cards, and uh, well, it's a new deck built builders box. So we were up to the uh, the Foundry's creature, which was a uh, three mana, including a black for a uh, two one creature flying. It gets plus one plus zero as long as you control an artifact. Then we've got uh, Fourth Bridge Prowler. <clears throat> I should say one one casting cost black one one creature uh, when it's the battlefield you may have target creature get minus one minus one till the end of the turn nice then we've got uh, fragment fragmentize which is one white sorcery destroy target artifact or enchantment with converted man cost four or less useful frenzied raptor three mana including a red for a four two dinosaur creature nice attack then we've got uh, Frill Sandwaller. It looks a bit like a uh, dinosaur-y thing. Uh, one, man, one green for a 1-1. Uh, one, one. <coughs> one, uh, one and a forest for a uh, Frill Sandwaller. Gets uh, plus 2, plus 2 to the end of the turn. Activate this ability only once each turn. That's yeah. Otherwise I could see that would be a bit overpowered. Still, still very strong. So yeah, very, very nice. Uh, Frontline Devastator. Three colours and a red for a 3-3 yeah, three, three creature. Nice. Afflict 2. So if you've dealt damage, you gain more uh, more strength. And uh, one colourless and a red. Frontline Devastator gets plus 1, plus 0 till the end of the turn. Nice. And it's a, and it's a zombie Minotaur Warrior. Uh, let's have a look. Frontline Rebel. Two colours and a red. Creature Human Warrior for a 3 mana. Nice. Uh, it attacks each combat if able so that uh, the downside is you have to attack but for that you get a 3-3 for three mana very nice gear seeker serpent for five colors and two blue five six uh serpent gear se ser <coughs> the serpent costs one less colors to cast for each artifact you control i can see this being a combination thing let's have a look and for six mana including a cut for a Blue, five colours and a blue. Gear Seeker Serpent can't be blocked this turn. I can see decks being organised around this card. Very, very strong. Artifact to boost you up. Every artifact you have in play co means this costs less to cast. And then, boom, you've got this huge creature that can't be blocked. Bam, 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 bam. Four turns, one single creature in. You win. Nice. Very, very nice. Let's have a look. Uh, Gary Per Osprey, two colours, one white for a 2 2 flyer. Bird, nice. Uh, giant Spectacle, one colourless and a red. Uh, it's an enchantment or an aura. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus two, plus one, and has menace. So, yeah, I still need to know what menace is. It could be something like fear. I don't quite know. And then we've got a Giant Spider. Giant Spider's back. So, yeah, nice. Uh, three colourless and a and a green for a 2-2 with reach so it can stop flyers. Gift of Paradise. Two colours and a green for uh, Enchant Land. When Gift of Paradise, Paradise enters the battlefield, you gain three life. Nice. Enchant Land has add two mana of any one colour to your mana pool. Nice mana fixer and you gain life as well. Very, very nice. I can see that being in some... Well, I'm not going to see, say in some combinations. I, I can see I'm going to be using that. So, uh, yeah, nice. I like that because I, I like my, my green-black mana. That, that'll help really help to stabilise things. <clears throat> Let's have a Gift of Strength. One colourless and a green. Target creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains reach till the end of the turn. Nice. You can stop flyers and you get boosted. Nice instant. Gilded uh, Geridon. Beast four colors and a red for a four four okay so what else has it got when uh, the the Keteridon attacks you can control if you control a desert or there's a desert card in your graveyard target creature can't block oh my goodness wow yeah four four for, for five mana that it becomes unblockable if you have a desert ouch that's gonna leave a mark let's have a look a gilded sentinel uh, artifact uh, creature golem four mana for a three three nice to get this out and it'll speed up that blue creature we saw just now get that out more quickly so you put, put this down and it'll lower the overall cost of that Th work very well in in a semi blue attack artifact deck um, i'm going through my head thinking 
Okay, I could do something with that. <coughs> so, yes, have a look. Then we've got uh, Glass Blower's Puzzle Bot. Puzzle Knot. Two, two mana artifact. When Glass Blower's Puzzle Knot ends the battlefield, scry two. You get uh, two energy. Two and two and a blue. Sacrifice the Puzzle Knot, scry. Then you get two more energy. So I could really get, I need help to, uh, to to know what this energy side of things is. New mechanic. I need some assistance with that let's have a look glint sleeve artisan i think it's gonna take a lot of games and we're playing against people and i go oh right okay it does like that it it goes like this and then that's how it works you know like back in the day with beta and everything i i, I, did, I wasn't there for alpha i i was starting to come in when it was beta so um yeah and then you just learn it's like oh my god goodness what does that do what does this do wow so yeah back in back back in the day so let's have a look. Uh, two and two and a white. Uh, creature Dawn Artificer Fabricate. I presume th this would help create artifacts and work with artifact creatures. Uh, I, I don't know. We've got to find out. Three mana for a year. Two, two with Fabricate. Okay. Then we've got uh, Glory Seeker. A white and, um, and a colourless. Two, two. Yep, that's fair. Human Soldier. God Pharaoh's Faithful. One colourless for a zero four. Nice. Whenever you cast a blue, black, or red spell, you gain one life. Oh, that's strong. Very, very nice. So multicoloured, slower deck. This will help you stay in the game and just get over that point that they just can't do enough damage to you. Nice. And and with defence of the zero four, very strong on multiple levels for uh, for plus one uh, for, for for one white. Very, very nice. Granite Titan. So that this is a top notch card. Common very very nice granite titan oh yes uh i think i've seen this before four and uh, and two four colors and two red five four menace and cycling as well no i haven't seen this before i was thinking of a different titan nice useful very useful grave and abomination three mana for a three one artifact horror creature okay whenever craven uh, attacks exile target creature from defending player's graveyard so you don't even have to do damage you just attack and you can go this that that card is the key to your strategy goodbye that is being exiled from your graveyard boom yeah neat neats at least a sideboard card against certain decks very very nice let's have a look uh, grazing whiptail Two colours, two green. Reach, three, four. Dinosaur. Oh, ho, ho. can have some fun with dinosaurs with that. Greater Sandworm. Right, five colours, two green for a 7-7. Seven, seven. Seems fair. Uh, Greater Sandworm can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. I don't think they would really want to. If they're only power two or less, they'll be like, um, no, it's too big. I don't really want to. And you can cycle it as well. Very, very useful. Strong tournament level card very very nice i like that so uh so you can cycle it replace itself get something that you need get it into the graveyard and then usually if i've got a, a some sort of buried alive deck flash it get it back with the black boom you haven't lost it multiple uses and then you get to attack with it as well oh dear what a pity you're dead sort of sort of situation <laughs> then we get uh grizzly survivor a black and two colorless for a yem a 2-3 which is nice Mantor warrior whenever you cycle or discard a card the survivor gets plus two plus zero till the end of the turn oh ho, ho. i could see that being the very very nice especially with a, a discard with a cycle or, and discard deck which let me think black cycles and discards yeah that'll re yeah i'm going you you'll be going in for it'll turn it into a 4-3 there's no limit and it's whenever you cycle or discard. There's no limit on the number of times you can do this. Oh, ouch. That's abusive. That's going straight in my black deck. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> I love... This is one of the things. I love seeing these cards. It's like... My, and my mind is going. And I'm thinking, okay, what would... What can I replace in there? What's going to work? What's going to fit with this? What are the new mechanics? How is it going? And my mind is is racing at the moment with all the, with these new things that... And it's all plus of what I've know, knew from ten years ago. Really, really, well, fifteen years ago when I started playing. Wow! Oh my goodness! No, fifty, twenty shit, twenty-five years ago. 
blinking heck. Can it be that long? I'm not even going to think about it. So, back to... Wow. Uh, Gus, Gus Walker. Uh, one one and a, and a white. 2-2. <clears throat> two, two, always good. Human wizard. Right. You may exert him to, uh, to attack when you do. Gets plus one and gains flying. Oh, very nice. Especially if you've got something that untaps your creatures as well. So you can do this, exert, then untap them so they're there to block and to attack next turn as well. I can see a lot of abuse and I'd be looking at that sort of mechanic for the white weenie to do a super overcharged exertion white weenie type deck. Just This sort of thing is just going through my mind now, looking at the combinations and thinking, okay, if I combine that with this, that and the other, that would work so much stronger. This boost is strong, but if you can then get something to untap them in the background, uh, after they've attacked, you've reset them. They're ready to rock and roll, they're ready to defend, they're ready to go back in next turn and exert again. Oh, ouch. Harry and Arga, three mana, green three mana for a 3-3. Three, three. It's three mana for a 3-3 three, three and green is always strong, always strong. Uh, haze, haze of Pollen. One, one colourless, one green, instant. Uh, prevent all combat. Oh, goodness, it's another another fog. And you, and it cycles. It's, it's cycling fog. Oh, dear. More fog. I fog you. I fog you lots. I then kill you. <laughs> you think you've got me? I fog. You counter it? I fog again. Oh, goodness. Right. Then we get to uh, Headstrong Brute. Two colours and a red. Three, three, man. That's nice in red. Uh, Orc Pirate. Headstrong Brute can't block. Okay, you've got to keep attacking. Headstrong Brute has Menace, and as long as you control... As long... Menace as long as you control another pirate. So you could do a Pirate Orc... Well, Pirate... Red Pirate deck with... 3-3 and three, three <clears throat> with Menace, whatever Menace is. I need to know what Menace is. Something about attack... I, I don't know. I, I, that's new. It's new to me. Then we get uh, Headwater Sentries. Uh, let's have a look uh, Three colours and a blue for a 2-5. A nice blocker, Murfo Warrior. Very nice. Then, um, he, I, see, I'm going past this, but this this is actually a really strong blocker in blue. I, I like it. Murfo, the, 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 the five toughness really makes a difference. And I'm, I'm I'm almost skipping. We've got so many cards to go through, but I'm almost skipping. And this this is a really nice card. So, uh, yeah, this, this may well go into a blue deck that I'm thinking in the back of my head at the moment. So, uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, Hecma Sentinels, two colours and a blue for a 2-3. Nice. Human Cleric. Whenever you cycle or discard a card, the Sentinel gets plus one, plus one. So if I combine, combine this with the other cycling cards and this mechanic, goodness me, there are a lot of cycling and discard mechanics that boost your creatures. And I'm definitely not complaining. Really, really not. Let's have a look. Herald of the Fair. Two colours and a white for a 3-2. That's strong. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, target creatures you control get plus one, plus one till the end of the turn. Oh my goodness. Wow. And then, if you haste it as well. So red, red, white, red, white weenie. Straight in. All the boosts. Creatures boosting it. Wow. Oh, ouch. Just ouch. Then we've got uh, Hieroglyphic Illumination. Uh, three colours and a blue. Draw two cards and cycling as an instant. Very, very nice. Blue always gets the wonderful card drawing. And uh, we've got uh, Hierophant's Chalice. Three, three colours. Artifact. When Hierophant's Chalice enters the battlefield, target opponent loses a life and you gain a life. Oh, this will be going into... I think that that's going to be... And you can tap it to add one mana to as well. What? Oh my goodness. Yeah, so a little bit of life gain and mana generation as well. Very nice. Nice combinations. Plus boosting up your other your other deck. So if you want to say blue black blue black control, this to give you additional life. Get the bigger creatures in based on the artifacts. Uh, interesting, interesting combinations. Let's have a look. Uh, High Spire Artisans, two colours and a green for a zero three. Right, Reach and Fabricate. So this is uh, he's an Elf Artificer for getting artifacts like this in. So then we have uh, High Spire Infusion, uh, one colourless and a 
green for a uh, target creature it gets plus three plus three until the end of the turn and you get two energy so i don't know how that i really need to know how the energy works we then got um high tide hermit four colors and a blue f defender crab for four when the hermit enters the battlefield you get four energy pay two and it can attack oh as attack as though it didn't have defense right so you can get two attacks out of it for eight eight nice very very nice <clears throat> so then hijack one colorless two red sorcery you gain control of target artifact or creature until the end of the turn and tap it against haste until the end of the turn and boom i'm gonna borrow that it's yours but i'm gonna attack with it and do damage to you and then i might even sacrifice it so you don't get it back oh can you imagine that i, I, I would do that with a combination black deck sacrifice it to one of my other creatures to get a better effect and at the end of the turn there's nothing left to come back to you so you've hijacked it so there's two different types i i like this so we've got four of those yeah that's very useful let's have a look uh Hintel and drake uh two colors in the blue flying he no people bought me uh, let's have a look flying so two colors in the blue for a two three flying it can't block artifact creatures but it can block everything else and it's flying what's not to like uh, i've seen this played uh horned copish uh, one one mana in equip creature gets plus one plus one and it's one to equip this is strong i've seen it i've had it played against me and i i like the way this works so uh, artifact equipment very nice then we've got um hooded brawler two and a green and a green naga warrior three two strong you may exert it when it attacks you get it gets plus two plus two until the end of the turn very nice five five four any anybody for for three mana wow you know just ouch then we've got uh, horror of the broken lands uh four colors and a black four four what's not to like whenever you cycle a discard a card horror of the broken lands gets plus two plus one till the end of the turn and it cycles oh my god goodness wow yeah <sighs> very nice <clears throat> haunt the weak three colors and a, a green let's have a look put a plus one token on the target creature control then that creature fights target creature you don't control and ah, nice very nice boost you boost yours target something that you work well with gain the advantage so you could you could do this destroy the creature and then attack as well so multi multi practical very very you don't don't just think about it as one thing you can this is more offensive because it's sorcery so it's more on the offensive side then we've got the hyena pack let's have a look two colors two red for a three four hyena oh well it's it is what it is then we've got ice over one colorless and a blue enchant aura let's have a look <clears throat> enchant artifact or creature enchant enchanted permanent doesn't untap during his controller's untap step ouch i think i'm going to lock you down you didn't read it you attacked with that i don't think you really want to ever untap that again do you no oh, ouch control yeah <laughs> ouch just ouch illusory uh, wrappings uh two colors in the blue enchantment aura it has a base power and toughness at zero two. <laughs> yeah, lots and lots of options. It's like lots of comedic fun. You have this big powerful creature. Oh, I've just wrapped it in something else. It's now a zero two. <laughs> oh dear, what a pity. Never mind. Let's have a look. Impeccable timing. Uh, instant one white and a colorless deals three damage to target attacking or blocking creature. It it works nice then we've got more implacable timings okay let's have a look Im implement of uh, combustion uh, it looks like there's one of each color at least so uh, okay so artifact uh, sacrifice implement of combustion the red one does it deals one damage to target player when if implement uh, is put in the graveyard from the from the battlefield draw a card similar the um, the examination is the blue version sacrifice it draw a card when it goes into the graveyard you draw another card three mana for these so one mana for the red one three for the blue we then come to the the green one one mana ferocity 
sacrifice it, put a 1-1 counter on target creature, and end time you could cast a sorcery, when, in, when it goes into a graveyard, draw a card, so you, you could get, get an effect, plus a card drawing sort of cantrip, very nice. At the white one, you get um, the improvement, it's sacrifice, it gain life, plus the, uh, the card drawing for one mana. Then the Implement of Malice, the black version, <coughs> two mana, sacrifice it, target player discards a card, uh, activate its ability to cast a sorcery, yeah, put in the graveyard, you draw a card, yep, nice. Then we've got um, Arketra's name, and uh, let's have a look, instant, zombies you control get plus two, plus one, oh, until the end of the turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, until the end of the turn, so if or other creatures you control, so it's not actually cumulative, because if, if, if it said creatures you control, as opposed to other creatures, if it said just said creatures, it would have been a plus three, plus two to your zombies, and plus one, plus one to everything else, but they've that other means it's just plus two, plus one to zombies, otherwise this would be overpowered. It's nice anyway, for two, you know, one white and uh, colourless, very nice. Then we've got uh, Nishit's uh, Companion, one one green and a white creature cat three one nice anything more than uh, so it's, it's not it's like having a two two except you've got more attack whenever it uh, deals combat damage to a creature untap target creature or land so you attack with this boom you do damage and you get to untap a creature or land very useful very very useful inspiration oh it's back okay 17th edition nice work target player draw, uh, three colors in a, yeah, and a blue target player draws two cards blue card drawing just phenomenal as always uh, inspired charge uh, two colors and two white instant creatures you control get plus two plus one till the end of the turn oh, ouch <clears throat> yeah d d doesn't need any words for that one uh, in inventors goggles one mana artifact equipment Equip creature, equip creatures gets plus one plus two. Whenever an artificer enters the battlefield under control, you may attach inventor's goggles to it. Ooh! All those artificers we've seen previously, or else you've got two equip normally. So basically, you put an artificer in, and he gets the goggles on anyway. I love this artwork. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. That's a that's a strong combination with the artificers. Then we've get it's got. Iron Tread Crusher. Now, the crew thing, I don't know what that uh, that is. Four mana for a 6-6. Six, six. Crew three, does that mean it only lasts for three turns? I don't know. I would presume it's something like that, but I don't know the specifics. <clears throat> this is strong. Doesn't last long, but 6-6 six, six for four mana. Hello. It reminds me of some of the old graphics of uh, things, certain of my old cars just smashing through unblockable, huge creatures. Boom, in your face. Very nice. Then we get uh, Ixley's uh, Diviner, one colourless and a green. Human Druid, zero three. Uh, when it ends the battlefield, it explores. So I presume it's looking at its cards, either letting you know what's there or delving down. I don't quite know. It could be the first card. I don't know. Put in the comments if you know. So that that would be really really useful to know about uh, about divining. The Ixley's uh, keeper, one blue, oh, one blue, one green and a colourless for a yeah, a two two, which is nice in its own. A human shaman, seven colourless and a green. Sacrifice the keeper. Target creature gets plus five plus five and trample till the end of the turn. Ouch. Hello, it's not being kept anymore. It's loose. There we've got uh, Jade Guardian. Three colourless and a green for a 2-2. Two, two. Okay, hexproof, so it can't be targeted. Nice. When Jade Guardian enters the battlefield, put, put a plus one, plus one counter on target. Merfolk you control. Oh, so, oh, it's a Merfolk Shaman. Ooh. So you could do this with, say, a green, green, blue, shamanic, merfolk -y type deck. Very, very interesting. Then we've got... Uh, Jungle Delver, uh, one mana for a one-one, three colours and a uh, and a green to put in uh, a plus one token on Jungle Delver, and this is put a, co a co counter on. This isn't till the end of the turn. This is 
a permanent counter. Very, very strong. Very nice. And uh, then we've got uh, Kenrel Eternal. Two mana, one black, one colourless for a 2-2 yeah, two, two, with a flicked one. So if you've dealt damage, it gets plus one, plus one if I am correct about a flicked. So I've seen it in operation, and I think that's what happens. You've, you've, de deal, you've dealt damage. If you've dealt damage this turn, it gets plus one, plus one. So it's two mana for a 3-3 three, three coming into play if you've already dealt damage that turn. Very, very nice. Then we've got uh, Kenra Scrapper, two colours and a red for a 2-3 creature with Menace. You may exert it and it, as it attacks, so when you do, it gets plus two, plus zero till the end of the turn. So that's a nice bit of extra damage. And then if you've got the untap abilities with it, you can defend with it and attack the next turn as well. Very nice. Then Kindle Fury, one colourless for tablet instant target creature gets plus one and gains first strike till the end of the turn oh that could ruin someone's whole day they think they've got you you cast this boosted you're bigger and you've got first strike hello you're dead i'm not Aha. yeah very very nice <clears throat> let's have a look kinjali's caller uh, one white for a dinosaur spell let's have a look dinosaur spells you cast cost one less so this this few of these would work well in the dinosaur deck i'm not used to the dinosaurs that are available at the moment for and you get a zero three creature for one mana which speeds up your your decks designed for dinosaurs very nice kedra's uh, seed sculptor one colorless and a green let's have a look for a one two nice creature elf when it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on target creature you control. So not just this, you can put it on any creature. So you can you play it, you get a 1-1 counter into a creature that you've already, um, that already came in the last turn or has got haste. Plus 1, come over immediately for even more damage. Very nice. Speed green, very useful. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Larger than life. 1 and 1 green for a sorcery. Target creature gets plus 4, plus 4 and gains trample till the end of the turn. Ouch! It's going to leave a mark. That is definitely, definitely going to leave a mark. Now, we're coming up to, uh, to half an hour already, so I'm going to pause it there. My, I've just heard the, the beeping in the background, so my breakfast is ready. And I will see you on the next one. I'm the Gaming Bear. 18, uh, 1148 cards. And we are 55% of the way there, so one or so episodes left. And we'll get right the way through this whole pack, see exactly what we've got in this 1148 cards. And then it's mad deck creation time. It's going to be amazing. So, I'm the Gaming Bear. And this is Magic the Gathering. And it's so nice being back. I will see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.